Sziasztok! Ma Ferencváros olimpiákhoz a hf n tartsatok velem! What's up guys, this is HFV, we're gonna witness a conference league knockout game in my hometown today. Being back at one's local club and documenting a game like this, of this importance, it's always refreshing. Especially since the possibilities of Hungarian content creators are strongly restricted in this regard. We have the record champions of Hungary, Ferencváros up against the Greek record champions Olympiakos. A conference league intermediate stage contest where the second place team of the conference league group stages are up against the third third place team of the Europa League group stages to acquire a place in the round of 16 of the UECL. Olympiakos came to Budapest with a one goal advantage. If we look at all the ties in this stage, they are really, really close, except for two. One of them is over and the other one is pretty comfortable for Sturm Graz. Apart from being record champions, these two are record cup winners as well, the football powerhouses of their countries respectively. My local club Ferenc Aros enjoyed minor European success winning the Intercities First Cup on one occasion. Olympiakos don't have international silverware, however, their 79 domestic titles make them the ninth most decorated football club in the world. Located in Piraeus, the port area of Athens, the most significant nickname of the Red and Whites is Frilos, which translates as legend. Such nickname of the Green and Whites of Budapest's ninth district is Zöld Sasok, meaning Green Eagles. As a Ferenc Aros supporter, it's a great honor to welcome such a historical club in Budapest. Let's make our way to the stadium and hopefully enjoy a hell of an atmosphere. Hello, the champ fix.
38 minute it could have been easily the one nail for the away side we are just making mistakes which is not allowed on this stage and not even a minute after that after the previous cut we almost considered after a terrible ball back it's like if it carries on like this we're out Penalty for Olympiacos for handball. If this goes in, we're on the brink of being out of the Conference League. It's just too weak. Forty-fifth minute penalty converted very comfortably. Our keeper went the wrong way. He had no chance anyway. The same guy who decided the first leg, El Kabi, he puts Olympiacos in a comfortable lead now. They have a decent chance of going through. Olympiacos in front at half time. There is not much to cheer about here in the home end. Our play was really dreadful in the last 10 minutes of the first half, so uh, they really won the lap deservedly, even though it was a penalty. It just gave them so many precious chances. Unbelievable how weak we've been. Even though we postponed the game in a weekend, the league game, and the players had one task, which was preparing for this tie. One nil is not a large disadvantage after an away lag. In the home leg with the home crowd behind you, which is accidentally behind the players as always, the Fenerbahce Saros crowd. It should be a task which which you are able to do, but not with this style of play. We definitely have to improve. Neil to uh, for for 45 minutes. It's going to be really tough. Uh, we'll be really lucky if we get this extra time. I don't see the chances of that right now. We'll see, hoping for a positive disappointment in the second half. you guys from the bottom of my heart really if I would actually be honest about 
how I saw this game and this performance by my team, the home team. I would really regret afterwards that I said it because uh, there was no will at all. It's pathetic, especially after postponing a league game because of this, which I initially didn't understand anyway, but that we didn't show any will, that we didn't show any desire to come up the field. We were passing just in the back. I think that says enough, barely any shots on target. It's not the result I'm disappointed about, it's the way we played because there was absolutely no motivation and if you wear these colors, if you wear this, this badge, you just cannot afford that, you just you just can't play like that. I'm lost for words really because because this is something really disappointing, we, we should have come much further in this competition because it's a conference league after and we've been competing Europa League in recent years and once Champions League as well and this is not what these supporters deserve. On the other hand, like we didn't deserve more, as I said. Uh, the team didn't commit and that's so frustrating. I think I'll carry on with this at home. I don't know if it's down to the fact that we had only two Hungarians in the starting 11, hence the players don't really feel for the club, or it's down to something else. But to be really honest, and sorry to put it this way, this was a pathetic performance. Sure, you need international players for a certain quality of play, and also if a Hungarian player would reach the level of Ferenc Aros, they would most probably move abroad. Also, the market value of the Olympiakos squad is more than twice more than the one of Ferenc Aros, but that's not really an excuse for not being able to make two straight passes and unfortunately that was the case in this game. I believe we could have even lost 3-4-0 if Olympiakos commit more but they knew they don't have to. Credit where credit is due, congrats to the Greek side and good luck in the later stages of the conference league. The round of 16 draws are complete, they are up against Maccabi Tel Aviv from Israel in the next round. And that's it for today's content, if you liked what you saw join me on the channel's social media accounts you can see all possibilities on screen. I was HFV, see you in the next one guys, take care and have fun watching the beautiful game.